Dogs at Andrews with Fife Foodie Nick Quick to try out the offering of the January specials of their wings and different things that they've got going on. We've got buffalo, Korean and dragon spice wings. Which one do you think we should try first? I think we should maybe do a countdown to the buffalo. Yeah, because that's really the best. The natural yeah. thing. <laughs> okay, maybe we should give those bad boys a go. These are the dragon spice. Ooh. So I've got three so that we can have one each, and then if one of us really likes it, we can have an extra one. I'll let you go first. <laughs> right, okay, hold on, let's have a wee look. Intriguing. Interesting looking shape. It kind yes. of looks a bit more like a nugget than I was expecting. I thought it'd be slightly more wing like. It's still nice and warm, and I like it. Maybe it's quite a lot of spice coating it, which looks nice. Cheers! Cheers! I like the combination of flavours there. That is surprising! Look how chicken like that, that looks! That literally tastes exactly like chicken, oh my goodness. It looks like chicken! That's weird! And obviously, you don't have to tackle a bone like you'd have to tackle with a, a non vegan wing. I love how we're eating them like the wings though. Yeah. Like thinking there's a bone in it when there's not a bone in it. And it's just like doesn't have that kind of, I feel like with vegan food sometimes it can be a bit more flavourless and things like that. The texture can be a bit off but that is literally perfect for me. I think you could definitely fool people. <laughs> not if you said it was a wing though because there's no bone. I think we need to do it. Yeah. We need to fool people. I think we should try that. See how it goes. Right, next we should try the Korean barbecue. Ooh. This also is not chicken but they look so right. good. Those ones, the dragon ones, I don't think looked like wings. Mm. Whereas these almost look like real yeah. chicken wings. Is the dip vegan? The dip's got to be vegan. Surely. Surely. Okay. Right, dig in, Jordan. Okay. Oh, nice and sticky. Nice small. Is it holding well? Does it feel like it, a wing? Yes. Weighty. This isn't falling apart in my hands. Good dunk, actually. Yeah. Going for the dip. Mm. Eat it like it's a wing. We're doing it the right way. That is delicious. I'm not convinced it smells like chicken. Give it a sniff. Give it a sniff. It doesn't smell like chicken. Like if you were to be blindfolded, maybe that's what it is. Maybe we should have a blindfold. Maybe. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Do you believe it's chicken? No, less believe. No, no, definitely less convincing. Well, we could talk about this at length, but what's the point? Food. Why are we trying to make it like chicken? That is the chicken. Yeah, that's a common kind of question for people that are vegan or vegetarian. It's like, why do we need to pretend it's chicken? Why can't it just be a pea nugget? Why do we need to say it's chicken like and make it mimic it? And I think some people quite like being able to mimic the meat, but a lot of people are like, I don't want to think about meat. I, yeah. I guess it would cater towards people that really love eating meat, yeah. but don't want to because of the environmental impacts. Yeah. Well, if you're having wings with your pals, you want to feel part of the party. True. But you could just have the cauliflower bites that's already on their menu. True. Already exist. But have you tried the cauliflower bites from here before? No, I have not. I have. And? I like this better than the cauliflower bites. Well, you're quite the chicken wing connoisseur, you know. I actually think that I would beat you to the like title of chicken wing lover because I am obsessed. I think not so. A chance. I <laughs> we need to have a challenge. We need to have a Separate challenge. Separate chicken wing. <laughs> Off, a wing off. And I'd win because. 100% not! 100% not! I honestly have a love affair with Brudel Chicken. How many chicken wings have you eaten in your life? Probably 500. But I'll, I'll eat more because I'm older. <laughs> that doesn't mean you win. It does, more experience. Have you ever done a wing spread? Yes. I have not. Have you ever done a chicken wing challenge? I've not. Nor have I. But anyway. <laughs> so, call yourself a chicken wing connoisseur. Where is, you've already said you love Brewdog, but tell me about your best chicken wing you've ever had. It's literally Brewdog, I'm sorry. It's actually Brewdog. <laughs> the Brewdog is my favourite chicken wing. You obviously have a place where you've had your best chicken wing, so... I've had a million me. chicken wings, right? One favourite recently, it was in a Irish themed bar in New Hampshire, USA. And they did these incredible wings. And what I love about them is the fact that they're first of all massive and they don't have any bread from coating on them. Which you like so best. it's just the skin 
and because they're deep fried, when you bite into them so crisp on the outside, it's almost like crackling that you get like on a loin of pork on it. And that was serving this incredible blue cheese dip, which in the States, everything's bigger, right? And so it was like a, a, basically a bowl of blue cheese dip. I'm surprised it was blue cheese, by the way, and not ranch. So is that your best wing you've ever that, had? That is, that is top tier. I'm going to say top three best buffalo wing I've ever eaten in my life. But I'm going to let you go first. How generous of you. Very generous. <laughs> Very generous. I mean, really, the chicken wing champion should go first, Joanna, so I'm glad that you've, uh, you've I'm given me that. I'm going to be a wing Wednesday sometime. Going for a close-up on the dunk. Oh, you. Oh, so look at that. Okay, here we go. Definitely the best. The but best. I love buffalo. I do love buffalo as well. That's the best, in my opinion. It just looks so good. Speechless, overcome with emotion. I am. That is so good. Marks out of 10? 10. 10? 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. You know what it made me think of immediately when I first ate it was how much it's like a chicken tender. Now, am I going to have to fight you to the death to have this last buffalo? I don't know. I don't know how See, I'm See, that's gonna interesting. That we, are, I actually do want this one, but I can tell that you want it as well. I want it, but I'll let you have it. We could do halvesies. <laughs> it's okay. No, come on. <laughs> Which you wouldn't be able to do if it had a bone in it. Correct. So. <laughs> yeah. It looks like flakes of chicken that's been mushed together to create a sort of patty. But. Patty. <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't get like sausage patty. It is kind of like a big patty, yeah. It's not like a patty that you spread on toast, but like Melba toast, blast from the past, anyone? But arrived eat it? No, pretty ridiculous. Like they've obviously made loads of bits, then shredded it, and then put it together again afterwards. So I guess it's like the tofu, you've kind of got to break it up to kind of get the flavor in there. Ooh. Although I feel like if you just had like a square bit of tofu, that wouldn't work. Yeah. Should we cut them? Yeah. To see what it looks like as a cross section. I'm doing that lengthways this time. Yeah. Look at, that. Off the Look at that. I mean, that's what we could have done. Just do a little tap turn. That's what you want, though, yeah. in a wing. To be crispy. But look on the inside there. That's quite good. What do we call? What do we call skin that's not real skin? Skin. Skinless like skin. <laughs> Would you get these wings again? And which ones? I definitely recommend coming for buffalo wings. Actually, all these wings have been tasted for my vegan palace. Yeah. Does that mean you wouldn't get the vegan ones again? Oh, definitely wouldn't get the vegan ones. You wouldn't. I think I might. I think I would because. Waste time. <laughs> if they didn't have chicken wings on the menu and they said, well, we've actually just got these, I'd be like, yeah, I'll have these then. Yeah. Because these are a good second best. Have you had anything along these lines on your program, Discovering the World's Table? Um, we haven't had any chicken wings or meatless meat yet. No vegan stuff. Um, we have had, we have had vegan dishes. We had a really nice asparagus dish and an artichoke dish. Um, when we're in Western Turkey, but um, hopefully we'll see what happens next. Well, the next trip, um, which I don't know where it is yet, but I'd love to. Well, one of which would involve a lot of seafood. Okay. And another one could involve some open fires. And what's your fave? My favourite of these, oh. I think it's got to be the buffalo. That's always going to be my favourite. But I do think that the um, Korean barbecue Yes. Is a really close second. Doing one. I'm not gonna do it <laughs> one. You could do you it. You do one. it one on camera. No, because you want to eat it. No, I'll let you eat it if you can do it in one. That's the bargain. Okay, God save. <laughs> right, we're doing it in one. <laughs> no pressure. Only Down chicken the hatch. wing champion would be able to do it in one. Okay, you did it very well. I don't think I would have managed to do that. <laughs> Don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching.